Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so we are having tacos for dinner tonight. So let me show you what I'm using. I am using these Ortega Fiesta Flats, something I used to use um, all the time and then I stopped and then I got them on a grocery haul and that is Harrison um, But I like these because they're flat bottom. So let me show you what they look like. They come in a package just like that and um, It's easier to fill them. You don't have to worry about your taco just kind of falling over So you do need to heat them up in the oven just like a regular taco shell in order to get them crispy so having that and then I experimented with some Mexican rice so I do have a video on our channel for restaurant style Mexican rice and I love it and it's really good, but I wanted to see if I could come up with an easier version. So I need to tweak this a little bit more before I share it on our channel. So we're having Mexican rice and we're also having Cuban style black beans. And this is from Trader Joe's and I doctored it up with a little bit of seasoned um, garlic salt and Saison. And then this is a taco mix that I used from Trader Joe's. I love it, it is so good. And then this is Howard's plate. And he does not like crunchy tacos, so he has um, his taco fillings on a flour tortilla, and then he has rice and beans in there as well. So this is what we are, ha oh, let me show you. We're having this um, Tillamook spicy Mexican blend. This is my first time trying this out. And it's like, a, I guess, pepper jack cheese and cheddar and so forth. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having Asian food again for dinner tonight. So I made these fresh chow mein noodles a few weeks ago. I tried making chow mein noodles for the very first time. It was a different brand and I wanted to try something different this time. So I will link that original video below. Um, but I made the chow mein noodles with a whole package, 16 ounces of coleslaw mix. And then I also added in some green onions and this is what it looks like. And then I had some fresh broccoli, so I stir fried that with olive oil and garlic salt. And then we're trying something new tonight that I picked up from Trader Joe's a while back ago. These scallion pancakes, never had them before. We flip it over so you guys can see the back here. So this is what's in it, product of Korea. And then here are the heating instructions. So I will say I did not read the instructions before I started cooking it. Didn't realize that these needed to defrost first. So I did let mine sit out on my countertop for about 45 minutes. And then I just baked them in this, well not baked them, I pan fried them in the skillet with no oil because they already have enough oil in there. So this is what they look like. Howard and I tried it. We both think they taste pretty good. We can't put our finger on exactly what it tastes like. Um, it's not savory, like salty or anything, but you can definitely taste the onions and things in there. And there's also mushrooms in there, carrots as well. So it is pretty tasty. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I am trying out a new recipe today. It is called crock pot chicken with bacon gravy. And I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. But in my crock pot, I have a pound and a half of chicken breast and I just sprinkled on some garlic powder and onion powder. I'm gonna season the other side real quick. I'm not gonna add any additional salt because Howard and I try to watch our salt intake Plus, I think this recipe is gonna have enough salt in it already. So I'm just getting that other side. And then the recipe says to use some chopped garlic. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some chopped garlic on top of that. And then it says to add some chopped cooked bacon. So here it is. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on. Oops, didn't chop this one. I'll come back. So sprinkle that on top. 
I'll chop off that other piece and add it on in a second. And then it says to add chicken gravy. So it says two package, two packages of dry chicken gravy, but this one package is the equivalent of two. So I'm just using that. I've already got it mixed up and added water to it, but it doesn't call for the full amount of water that would normally be used to make this gravy. And then you're just gonna pour that on top. And then it says cook it on high for about three hours or until it's done. And I typically tend to cook things on low, so that's what I'm gonna do. So you're supposed to cook it until it's done, then you take out the chicken and you shred it, and then you add some heavy cream at the end. So I will come back and show you guys next steps. Hey guys, so while my chicken is cooking in the crock pot, I thought I would show you how I make my frozen green beans taste fresh and homemade. So in my pot here, I have some bacon, probably about three slices of bacon that I chopped up. And then I had some extra bacon fat um, that I just kept and I added that in as well. To that, I'm gonna add about a half a cup of onions. These are frozen. I love using frozen onions. So that's about a half a cup that I'm adding in. And I'm just going to let this cook down a little bit. And then I will show you what comes next. And these are the onions that I'm using. Okay, so my onions and bacon, as you can see, have cooked down. And so now, just going to add in my frozen green beans. Going to add some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some seasoned salt. And I'm gonna start off adding just a little bit and I can always come back and add a little bit later. But I have um, added water just up to the green beans and I am just going to cover this pot and right now my burner is on low. I'm just gonna cover this and I'm just gonna let these cook down. All right, just pulled this chicken out of the crock pot. It cooked for about four and a half hours on low. And all I'm doing right now is just shredding it. And then after it's completely shredded, I'm going to add in some heavy whipping cream and then just let it um, just cook for a little bit longer, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so. Okay, so here is the finished dish. And I am serving the chicken over just some plain jasmine rice. There are the green beans. So let me show you the chicken in the crock pot. So it doesn't make a lot of gravy. If you'll remember, I didn't use very much water. So there's not a lot of gravy in here. It does have a good flavor. I don't taste the bacon much. And the bacon, I thought was gonna get really soggy. And there's a piece right there. But it really doesn't get that soggy. It does have a good flavor. It's definitely very savory. And I'm glad I didn't add any more um, salt to it because it's salty enough for sure. And then here are the green beans. Um, they are not mushy at all. After they came to a boil, I let them cook for about two hours on low. I ended up adding some more seasoned salt and I also added some chicken bouillon to it too, just to give it some more flavor. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having a quick and easy dinner tonight. I made some fish sticks from Trader Joe's, made them in my air fryer, and then I made some canned corn. I just put butter, salt, and pepper in there. And then we are just having some good old Kraft macaroni and cheese. And if you heard that noise in the background, that's Harrison's toy. But here is the mac and cheese, and then here are the fish sticks from Trader Joe's. Howard and I, I've mentioned this before, we're not huge fish people, but we both like these uh, fish sticks. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard and I tried a new Chinese restaurant. He went and picked it up for us. So um, I actually tried a new dish for me, period, and it's called beef chow fun. 
and it has beef, um, noodles, and a couple different types of onions and bean sprouts. Howard is trying something new too, and his is called May May Chicken. And I'm not sure if the chicken is deep fried or stir fried, but you can see all types of vegetables. And then I got hot and sour soup, and it unfortunately did not come with crunchy noodles. And then um, Howard got, let me see, let me look at the receipt here. He got, a, I think it's called cha su bun. And so um, he loves this kind of stuff. And then he also got some fried rice as a side. To me, this fried rice looks a little overcooked. I don't like mine real puffy like that. And then I got one of their vegetable egg rolls. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.